I think he, he covered the base on NATO, on Article 5. I can't hear him. He uh, put out a marker to Russia. But I particularly loved his focus on Poland. I thought what he said about Poland and the Polish people was absolutely wonderful. Um, and I think it'll go a long, long way to strengthening uh, American-Polish bonds. Uh, I thought the speech was extremely well-crafted. I thought the president got across his own points on immigration and bureaucracy that are important to his domestic constituency at home. But I thought he also uh, said uh, he wants a strong and free Europe. Uh, and that's a very important phrase, a very important statement. I thought the mention of the three C's group was also significant. So um, in a way, he's uh, trying to put the United States back in a leadership role in Europe. Uh, Angela Merkel, uh, uh, Macron in France have got to take note of his remarks. And I, and I think uh, that this is a speech uh, which uh, will help the United States reassert its leadership role that it must have in Europe and um, on strengthening the transatlantic uh, bonds. Well, I'm a little surprised. General, you sound like it really exceeded your expectations, looking at what, uh, it, it, you know, your, your comments about what to expect. You were, it sounds like you were very pleasantly surprised by both the content and the delivery of the speech. Well, I think it's, uh, it was a real presidential address. Way to go. And I think it was well crafted. I think yep. he delivered it well. <clears throat> and I'm, uh, I'm very glad that he did. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.